Hi everybody, so it's day nine of the Spring into Reading-a-thon. I didn't read any more yesterday. I played some Animal Crossing and I was like, oh hey, I'll take a nap and wake up and finish clearing my island before it resets. No, no that didn't happen. I just went to sleep. I was so tired. I went to sleep at like 9 p.m. Great. Um, but in the next couple minutes, I'm about to start my daily calls to unemployment. And today I'm hoping to read I'm Traveling Alone by Samuel Bjork. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, it's supposed to be the travel or vacation one. And it is a murder mystery. And I believe Samuel Bjork is Swedish. I believe. Hold on. I got this. <coughs> I don't know. It There's no author bio in here that I can see. Norwegian. So he's Norwegian. Okay. It's translated from Norwegian. But I'm looking forward to doing this. It is a little shy of 400 pages. I should be able to start and finish it today. And maybe start another book, but we'll see with Animal Crossing. Um, since I finished my automated, wow, I'm really bad at this angle. But since I finished my automated performer flying book, I am going to be reading the Scenic Automation Handbook. Um, I'm about to figure out exactly how much of this I'm going to read. There's a lot of like pictures and stuff. So I might not be reading that much, but like I might not be reading that much, but it's going to be a lot of pages. And then I also need to do a chapter or two of AutoCAD. <clears throat> but while I'm doing like my daily two to three hour call to unemployment, I'm going to try to get some editing done since I'll just be sitting there with my left hand going, hang up, redial, hang up, redial, hang up, redial. Hopefully I'll get through today. Um, unemployment starting to go on the news and make announcements and stuff, acknowledging that there are issues. But they're only acknowledging that there are issues with people needing to reset their passwords. Because apparently that's why people have been calling, is because you have to reset your password via phone. Which they've fixed. Hopefully people like actually use the form and don't call in. They're not acknowledging those of us who actually have to call in to finish filing. They're like, oh, we'll leave the phone lines open for those of you who don't have internet. Well, I have internet. And you're still making me call in because my job is weird. Thanks, guys. <sighs> anyway, um, today is Friday, I think. I think it's Friday. Which means that after today, I can read and play Animal Crossing and not feel like I need to do something productive and also will not be able to call unemployment because they won't be open. So it's great. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I'm going to get started with my day. Talk to you after I get something accomplished that's not calling unemployment 600 times. Bye. Okay, so I look exhausted. Ignore the background noise, please. But I look exhausted. But I've gotten like 60 out of 80 pages done of one chapter. I read two chapters of this. And actually, where'd it go? Okay, I don't know where I'm traveling alone with. I started I'm traveling alone. And I got like 102 pages into it. But I've declared that I have done enough productive stuff for the day. So I'm going to go play Animal Crossing. And I might read more. I might not. But I'm going to go play Animal Crossing. Because that sounds way more fun than doing more tech stuff with AutoCAD. So yeah. I'm going to go have fun. I'll let you guys know if I do any more reading today. Woo! So 
it is day nine of spring into reading a thought. I didn't get any more reading done yesterday. I played some Animal Crossing and then I passed out. But I am a quarter of the way through this. I'm going to try to finish. I'm traveling alone today. Um, I also have decided to uh, rainbow ties my bookshelf. So you might get a video. So you might get like a little clip of that. Um, it's going to be a process because there's stuff in my bookshelf that's not books. Like video games, puzzle books, D&D stuff, coloring books. Things that I wouldn't want to put in there so I have to find other homes for them. But yeah, they're currently like all over my ground because I started last night. I did not get very far, but I started. So yeah, I've got that. Um... I'm going to play some Animal Crossing. I found out that my college classes that I just signed up for that are free through my union, just signed up for them, was like, oh, was told, oh yeah, we've extended the deadlines for everything. You don't actually start until Monday. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's, that's awesome. So I checked it out yesterday, and one of my classes has due dates that were on the 22nd. Today's the 28th, and she also has due dates on the 29th. I believe that... The university as a whole has extended everything by like two weeks. And this professor just, or teacher, whatever the hell she is, just hasn't checked the email. So I'm going to get some of it done today. I'm not going to get both the stuff that's due on the 22nd and the stuff that's due on the 29th. I'm not doing that. That's not happening. Um, but I'm going to try to get the first week stuff done and see how that pans out. I sent her an email yesterday whenever I realized it and I haven't heard back yet. I'm hoping she emails me back. If not, I'm just gonna do the course like due dates for the other one because the last due date isn't the last day of class, which it should be. So I feel like she just hasn't updated things. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Bye. everybody so it's the last day of the spring into reading a thon I did not get much reading done at all yesterday because I just played Animal Crossing a lot of Animal Crossing and I reorganized my bookshelves so now they look pretty cool I'll probably show like a little video in between this little clip <clears throat> of my bookshelf they're not amazing it's a built-in bookshelf with my apartment and I don't have a ton of books, as most people, it's a ton to me, because I have a small apartment. But yeah, I'm definitely going to finish this today. I will force myself to finish this today. I'm on, like, page 217, 218. I mean, it's only, it's not even 3 p.m. yet. And realistically, this will probably take me maybe three and a half hours to finish. So, I'm enjoying that. Um, Yeah. I'll update you in a little bit after some Animal Crossing and reading. Woo! After the spring and reading a thon has finished. And I finally finished I'm Traveling Alone by Samuel Bjork. I really liked it. I'm giving it four stars. Um, simply because it takes a lot for me to write rate a mystery five stars. And at some points this dragged a little bit. And I really en I enjoy the introduction of a lot of different characters. But sometimes it felt like it took away from the story getting different characters. Like, there was a thing with a pig. And you, 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 they could have just gotten rid of the pig part. Like, it, she kind of tied... Uh, sorry, he kind of tied it together. But they could have gotten rid of it. <clears throat> anyway, I really, really liked it. I 
found out, so this is a Norwegian author, it's set in Norway, and I, he's written a couple other books, The Second Witch, they both involve the two, same two detectives, uh, the second of which has been translated to English, I don't know if the third one has, but I would definitely be interested in reading more of his work, but I really liked it. I thought I'd predicted the ending from the beginning and then the ending came and it was a logical twist. It wasn't like a, oh, I didn't see this coming. This makes absolutely no sense. Like some other authors come up with the twist like, oh yeah, by the way, there's a cult and they drink children's blood and there's this mythical God that they worship and there are zombies. <clears throat> like, those kind of mystery writers. This one was actually, they gave you all the pieces. And I'm guessing some people, to a certain extent, could have guessed the end. But I didn't. And I really liked it. I liked how it was logical, and yet I still didn't guess it. Um, I'm going to try to upload everything soon. To just, like, do a wrap-up. None of my vlogs have been uploaded, so I'm going to try to do that ASAP. I need to figure out my April TBR. I think I'm going to do the owls, so I need to figure that out. I need to film, still need to film the wrap-up for the Backlist Readathon. I need to film the wrap-up for this. And I also need to film my March wrap-up. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!